Last month I was really excited to be part of an event where we commissioned a number of people, especially some lay people, as Anna chaplains and Anna friends to work in our diocese. This is an initiative which we're undertaking with the Bible Reading Fellowship. It's around ministry to those who are older and specifically in this diocese with a focus around dementia, care for those with dementia, support for those who are caring for somebody with dementia. It's a work which Julia Burton-Jones has pioneered for us and we've had support from the Henry Smith charity as well. And this responds to something which is at the heart of the gospel about our care for those who are marginalised, those who are vulnerable. You remember how way back into the Hebrew scriptures there's a particular concern for widows and we can extend that I think to all those who are elderly and particularly those who are facing difficult conditions. Uh, it's really exciting that the church is taking an initiative in this way and uh, many other organisations are supportive of us doing so. And this month we have another exciting initiative which is gently being launched and will be uh, made known over uh, the coming months through to the end of this year. And this is around fostering and adoption. We are forming a partnership with Home for Good which is a Christian charity, a Christian agency around fostering and adoption and also with Diagrama, another organisation which works in that field. And they have uh, provided the means for us to work with them in order to seek to increase the number of Christian people who are offering as foster carers and adoptive parents across the area of our diocese. Already within the area covered by our diocese, there are some 2,500 children who are being cared for in these ways. And there are some who are currently being fostered who are looking to, uh, to be adopted. This is another way in which we are able to engage with a particular set of needs within our society. Within our tradition, our spiritual tradition, there is a particular concern enjoined on the community for the care of orphans. We don't tend to talk much about orphans these days. And of course many of these children will not be orphans, though some of them may be. They're more likely to be children who've grown up in circumstances where their natural family has just not been able to provide them with what is needed. Already across our country, a very significant proportion of those who are approved as adoptive parents are Christian people who see this as part of their vocation, part of their discipleship, part of God's calling upon their lives. And by forming this new partnership and taking forward this initiative, we want to uh, use the network of our churches to raise up new people uh, who will offer themselves as foster parents or adoptive parents, who will offer this kind of care to young people in our communities who need that sort of care. We know that some of these children are in what, you call, what is called the hard to place category. Uh, they've been waiting, some of them, for a long time uh, to find adoptive parents. The needs are very considerable. Already within our diocese there are people undertaking this work, there are people who are offering themselves in this particular way and we think this is a tremendous opportunity for the church to be contributing. So in coming months there will be opportunities in each deanery, briefing sessions, uh, for people to find out more about this way of serving. We're encouraging parishes to use the first Sunday in November as Adoption Sunday to highlight some of these issues. And we've got planned a celebration event early next year in the cathedral when we can gather together around this issue and give thanks to God for uh, this service which is offered and for the new people who we believe will be offering themselves in this way. I've talked about two particular ways in which we can serve our communities, especially among those who are the most vulnerable in our midst. There will be other ways too, and some of these are beginning to emerge out of our strategic framework process, the consultation we'll be doing across the diocese. We'll hear more about that in months to come. But for this month, can I ask you especially to hold in your prayers and give your support to this new initiative around fostering and adoption. And then in the early part of next year, we're going to have a service at the cathedral when we can gather together uh, to celebrate the way in which people are exercising this ministry, following this vocation, and also to uh, challenge ourselves afresh about it. This is, I think, a really positive way in which people can respond to the call of God. And I ask you to encourage yourselves, those around you, to consider this prayerfully and to hold in your prayers those who are already exercising this service of care for those who are vulnerable in our midst. 
this is a tremendous way in which we in the churches can serve our communities and those within them. And I ask you to pray that we may grow in this regard.